Okay, so I've been playing with these little servos lately, and they work great for moving things if you want a real precise movement. You know, you can set this up to just move to any angle you want, and then it just stops right there. And uh, they work real good for the, the kind of props that need, you know, small movements, detailed movements. But the biggest problem I have is trying to figure out what signal you need to send these things for whatever position. Like if I want it in this position, you know, how do I get it there? Well, these servos work. Uh, you send them a pulse every 20 milliseconds. And uh, the pulse is somewhere between a half a millisecond and two and a half milliseconds long. And each one of those, you know, is a different position. But it's hard to determine, you know, like, say I put a servo in this little skull here. You know, and the servo will move his jaw open and closed, no problem at all. But it's like, you know, the jaw is closed. Well, you know, what is what what do I need to send it to get this jaw to that position? You know? Or to the open position. You know, how do I Well, I got to going through all my junk bin and I threw something together to make this process a whole lot easier for me. This is what I came up with here. It's a uh, LCD screen, a couple of buttons. There's a PIC 16F688 hiding under under the LCD screen. But I'll just show you what it does. I turn it on and uh, it can control up to two servos plugged in up here. And right here, like it says, servo 1, 150, servo 2, 150. That's a 150 uh, 10 microseconds at a time, or 1.5 milliseconds. That's the center of a servo. And uh, it looks like at that, it's, you know, roughly halfway open. So if I want to find the open and closed position of this little skeleton, I can push this button, and if I push it just one click at a time, it goes real slow. If I hold it down, it counts by five. So I can go to, and I can hear that servo starting to bind. So I know that's a little too far, so we'll back it off. Right there about position 220, is a good closed jaw without binding. So then we'll go the other way and we'll open up his jaw and I can hear it start to bind right there. So I know about 139, 140 will get this jaw all the way open. So now whenever I go to write my firmware to control this little guy, I know the position of the open and closed mouth of this little skull. And I think it's going to save me a whole lot of time later on when I get to programming this thing. 